let's have a step by step guidance on the basic concepts of algebra you need to have a good understanding of these topics before learning algebra all these concepts together are called as pre algebra in the description box below i've given links for all the topics mentioned here you could make use of it for deeper understanding now let's get started with the basic terminologies used in algebra first we have the variable this is a very common and easily understandable statement here instead of using the empty box we could write a plus 7 is equal to 10 now we can say that a is just a representation of a number so we can say that variables are alphabets which are used to represent unknown numbers next we have constant in the same statement 7 and 10 are numbers whose values are already known and fixed these numbers are called as constants now since we know what these variables and constants are let's start doing some basic mathematic operations on the variables and constants first we'll start with addition example a plus 1 it shows us that we could add a variable and a constant and a plus b means we are adding two different variables now what happens when you do a plus a here we have to consider repeated addition as multiplication so the same variable added twice gives us 2 times the variable a plus a is equal to 2a let's also note that the two terms used in addition can be interchanged as shown here this is the commutative property of addition with that we move to subtraction a minus 1 shows the difference between a variable and a constant and a minus b shows the difference between two variables now we need to remember that the terms in subtraction can never be interchanged a minus 1 will not be equal to 1 minus a in other words subtraction is not commutative also in algebra we can frequently find that subtraction is also expressed as addition of the negative counterpart so 1 minus a could be written as 1 plus minus a and a minus b can be written as a plus minus b now we move on to multiplication 3 into a is written as 3a in algebra the multiplication sign is almost never used and is always implied so 3a is understood as 3 into a a into 5 is equal to 5a here you have to note that the numerical part always comes before the variable and this number which appears before the variable in the product is called as the coefficient now let's see multiplication of two variables a into b is written as a b b into a also has to be written as a b here you note that when you write a product of two variables it always has to be in alphabetical order next let us see what happens when we multiply two similar variables a into a is written as a squared and a into a into b can be written as a squared b now these products also could have coefficients like 5a square or 7a square b next let us see what happens when we combine multiplication along with addition or subtraction 4 into a plus 3 will be written omitting the multiplication sign as shown here 7 into a minus b will also be written in a similar manner 
Before closing on multiplication, let us learn how to find the factors of any product. 5a square will have the factors of 5, a and a. 7a square b will have the factors of 7, a, a and b. Now let's move on to division. Just like the multiplication symbol, the division symbol is also very rarely used in algebra. We make use of fractions instead of division. So a divided by 3 can be written as the fraction a by 3. Or we could use two variables. a divided by b is written as the fraction a by b. Next, let us combine division with addition and subtraction. 3 plus 1 divided by a is written as 3 plus the fraction 1 by a. a minus 8 divided by a becomes the fraction with numerator as a minus 8 and the denominator as a. 2 divided by a plus b becomes the fraction with 2 as the numerator and a plus b as the denominator. Now we will move on to algebraic expressions. A combination of variables, constants along with mathematical operations becomes algebraic expression. It could be as simple as a plus 3 where we have only one variable and one operation. Or it could have two variables as in 4x minus 5y. Or it could be even more complicated as this one. 3a square minus 6ab plus b by 2. Now the different parts of the expression that are separated by plus or minus are called as terms. The terms a and 3 are the most simple. 4x, 5y and 6ab are terms that involve multiplication. 3a square is also a term which has an exponent. Finally, b by 2 is another term that involves division. Next, let us learn what like terms are. If two different terms have the same variable part, they are known as like terms. For example, 4a and 9a are like terms. 3a square b square and 5a square b square are also like terms. In these two terms, the variable part is a square b square. Now what do you think about unlike terms? The terms that have different variable parts are called unlike terms. For example, 4a and 9b becomes unlike terms. Similarly, 3a square b square and 5a square b becomes unlike terms. The reason is that their variable parts are different. Now let's understand the different types of algebraic expressions. First we have the monomial expression which involves only one term. For example, 4a square is a monomial expression. 9xy is also a monomial expression. Next we have binomial expression where there are two terms that are added or subtracted. Example, 4a square plus 3b is a binomial expression. 8x minus 9xy is also a binomial expression. Finally, we have the polynomial expression. As the name suggests, there are more than two terms. For example, 4a square minus 6ab plus 3b is a polynomial expression. And so is 8x minus 9xy minus 6y square plus 3. Now we've come to the final part of our session. Algebraic equations. When there are two algebraic expressions that are equated to each other, what we get 
is an algebraic equation. So you have one expression on the right and one expression on the left with an equal to sign in the middle. Equations can be simple like 4 plus a is equal to 3 or 2a plus b is equal to 5. You could also increase the complexity level. 8 minus 9xy is equal to 6y. In this equation, you have variables on both the sides. You could also include exponents as in 4a square minus 6ab is equal to 3b. 8x square minus 9xy is equal to 6y square plus 3 is also an example of an equation. Now let's have a quick recap of everything that was covered in this session. X and Y are variables which denote unknown values. 3 is a constant which has a fixed value. 8X, 9XY, 6Y square, 4X and 3 are all terms. 8X and 4X are like terms. 9XY, 6Y square and 4X are unlike terms. 8x minus 9y is an algebraic expression and so is 6y square plus 4x minus 3. 8 is the coefficient of 8x. 9 is the coefficient of 9xy. 6 is the coefficient of 6y square and 4 is the coefficient of 4x. Finally, 8x minus 9xy is equal to 6y square plus 4x minus 3 is an algebraic equation. With that, we have come to the end of the session. I hope this session was helpful in making you understand the basics of algebra. You could support me by hitting on the like button and also share it with your friends to make them learn algebra the amazing way. Thanks for watching.